Hi, James here. I know you may have watched some of these blogs and I've been making rogue realms. I'm still making rogue realms, but I wanted to make a physics based game at the same time to give myself a break from all of the maths behind my the rogue realms world. And so I've made this little physics based game. Now I've really loved these children's toys like Screwball Scramble. I wanted to try to make something of a video game. I couldn't really find anything like it on the market, so I feel like there aren't very many games in this genre, and I'm hoping that people might find it interesting. And so I'm going to share to you how I've got to where I'm at at the moment, and all the processes I've gone through. It still isn't quite where I'd like it to be. Obviously I'd like the physics to be a little bit more punchy than they are, but they're improving. I'm really feeling like it's feeling like the original toy a lot more than when I started. So when I actually started this process, I couldn't even get the ball to stay within the actual barriers. You'll see here that sometimes it fell through. And here's an example of that. Now I was able to fix this by changing some of the physics settings and I got to more of the basic outline of what the level might look like. But here you can see it kind of looks like the marble is in space. It's kind of floating through the level. And while I got the essence of what I wanted the game to do, the physics just didn't feel right. And it wasn't a great selling point for what I actually feel like is a really fun game. You can also see at the bottom, I've got my bases of the controllers that you switch through, but you can't actually tell which one is active at the moment. So I've had a go at improving this, and you can see that now it's still a little bit floaty, but it's a little bit better than it was, and that more resembles the final level. And it's only one level, I expect that I'm probably going to need 60, 70, 80 levels to make this work. And you can see that at the bottom, as you change the controller, the light changes for which one is active, and I'm really happy with how that's going at the bottom. I'm really happy at the moment with what the metal looks like in the level. However, it still looks not that great and the marble is still really floating everywhere and it needs to be really snappy. And that was probably the biggest challenge was getting the physics to a better state. And I was able to do that simply by reducing the scale of everything. I had learned throughout this process that the scale that you have things on is really important. So don't make your marble one meter across in unity or you're not really going to have a good time. As soon as I reduced the size, everything felt so much better. I also really didn't like the circular end point here. I kind of thought it would be fun to have a circular end, but at the end of the day, I just couldn't stand looking at it anymore, which is why it got changed to a rectangular one. So as things were improving, I really wanted to make the level also look better. And so I've started to not muck around with making it better, having a better background, and started playing with some materials. You'll notice that some of the things, for example, the green bridge on the left has a material on it, whereas the orange tilt tables are not really at that stage at the moment. You can also see the control at the bottom is still very basic. But as here you can see, I have been improving the physics as I've gone along, and each iteration is just slightly better. I have had to fake some of the jumping, so that I felt like it wasn't jumping enough, so occasionally I have added some map force just to give it a little bit of bounce, because I feel like that's really important for this kind of game. And so this is where I'm at now. You can see I spent a lot of time making it look better. I've managed to get a controller at the bottom, which looks really great. Well, I think it does. Let me know what you think. And I've started to get sound effects, which sound not perfect, and that needs some work, but it's starting to add to it. I've got a little finish area, which looks good. At the moment, there's no actual end to the level, so that's something I need to work on, but I wanted to just get one level working first. Now I really need your help to see if you want to see this game made. So if you can share it on social media or anything like that and tag me, it will be super appreciated. 
And if you can wishlist it on Steam, you just go to MightyMarbles.com and it will redirect you to the Steam page. That would be really appreciated. I want to try to work out how many levels I should make based on how many wishlists I get. If you want to come and talk game dev with me, I have a very small Discord channel, so I'm active there and I'm easy to talk to. You're more than welcome to come. Next up, I'll be trying to get the menu and some of the interfaces going, so hopefully I'll do an update on that soon.